For the first part of the experiment, we will be using the moisture analyzer method. We prepared grinding carrots, potatoes, and apples. We're setting up the moisture analyzer at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. We are going to tear the machine. And we're going to add 5 to 10 grams of grinding carrots inside. We want to make sure to spread out the samples out evenly. And then press start. We are going to do the same for the apple sample. We are going to do the same for the potatoes. This is the moisture percentage for the carrots after 10 minutes. This is the moisture percentage for the apples after 10 minutes. This is the moisture percentage for the potatoes after 10 minutes. For the second part of the experiment, we're going to use the oven method. We heated the aluminum trays in the oven to 130 degrees Celsius to dry out all the moisture. We're going to take out the aluminum trays and put them in the desiccator for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we will then weigh the initial mass of each tray in the mass of the tray plus the sample. Starting with the carrot tray. This is the initial mass of the carrot tray. You place 5 to 10 grams of carrots into the tray and weigh the mass. This is the mass of the tray and carrots together. We will do the same for the potatoes and apples. This is the initial mass of the potato tray. This is the mass of the tray and potatoes together. This is the initial mass of the apple tray. This is the mass of the apple plus tray. Now, we are going to put these samples into the oven for an hour. An hour has passed and we are going to take out the trays and put them into the desiccator for 20 minutes.
This is after 20 minutes. We will take each sample out and weigh the mass. This is the reading for carrots after one hour. This is the reading for potatoes after one hour. This is the reading for apples after one hour. Now we will put the samples back into the oven for another hour. We will do the same procedures as we did earlier in the first round. This is the reading for carrots after two hours. This is the reading for potatoes after two hours. This is the reading for apples after two hours. These samples are almost at stable mass. However, we will put them in the oven again for another hour. We want to make sure that all of the water has been evaporated in each sample. After another hour in the oven and 20 minutes in the desiccator, we will weigh the samples again. This is the reading for carrots after 3 hours. This is the result for the potatoes plus tray after 3 hours. This is the result for the apple plus tray after 3 hours. For part 3, Ash Determination, please look at the video linked at the end. It is also in the description below.